Hello friend, welcome to Journal Club with Greg Friedman. And today we'll talk about a subject that was controversial back when I was in college. Everybody smoked pot, or nearly everybody did. My choice is beer, but you do you. And it wasn't exactly legal. Well, today it's legal, or mostly legal. Not too sure about that. What comes with that, though, is ability to do research. So let's take a look at today's paper. Effects of cannabidiol on simulated driving and cognitive performance. A dose-wrenching randomized controlled trial. It is a long and complicated paper, but I'll try to summarize it quickly. And it's fairly recent. It's from 2022. So the authors talk about some interesting details. CBD which is cannabidiol, a major cannabinoid of cannabis sativa. Ah, <laughs> all of these complicated words. Basically, it's the CBD gummies, chewables, or smokables, or whatever. Do not confuse it with Delta 9 THC. Delta 9 THC does, in fact, impair driving according to the references. However, this study focused specifically on CBD and it did show not much effect on driving. So they performed a randomized placebo-controlled trial involving occasional cannabis use. In this paper, they gave to volunteers 15300 or 1500 milligrams of CBD and then tested their driving soon after or in a little bit. I will leave link to the to this paper down in the description. Please take a look at it yourself. All the details are there. Very, very heavy details on statistics and exactly how the trial was performed. One thing that jumped out at me immediately, it's only 17 participants. So it's a fairly small trial. However, it's a trial and results are interesting. Again, the authors go into the details on how they measure the simulated driving and tons of measurements and statistical analysis they performed. I don't think that's the most important. The interesting part of this paper is this graph. So this is two simulated drives. Simulated drive one, simulated drive two, simulated drive one was approximately 45 to 75 minutes after taking the dose. And drive two is 180 to 210 minutes post-treatment. The zero line here, the gray line, represents no observable effect at all. And the red line represents confidence. Positive numbers being, yes, there is effect. So in a car following, in a standard drive, soon after or a couple of hours after, taking the dose, looks like there is no observable effect of CBD on one's ability to drive. And you see there's a lot, a lot, a lot of data on subject behavior, tons of stuff, lots of analysis, and I think there's just too many details. Bottom line here, short paper, short review, CBD does not affect your driving abilities, but Delta 9 THC does. You know, I applaud the authors for taking lead in uh, researching CBD and effects of uh, other cannabidiols on us, on our health, on our driving ability, on our ability to recover. I think with legalizing these substances, that back in my college days, everybody used them, just nobody knew what they actually do. The headache goes away, but does it? Legalizing it allows us to do controlled clinical trials and understand the effects of these substances on our bodies. And I fully support continuation of this research. Well, anyway, peace out.